Good morning. I'm so sorry I'm late. That's okay. How are you? I'm doing so well. How are you? I am good. Um, Marcia, Your voice is so inspiring. Oh, thank you. Mar is it Marsha, correct? Yes. Oh, okay. So good. I've, I've got so many lined up this morning, so I just wanted <laughs> to be um, right about that. Okay, so um, this is my first time doing these type this type of reading. What I'm going to do okay. is introduce myself. I'm pretty sure you know me from YouTube, but yes, I also introduce myself uh, in regards to some of the things that I do that are not on YouTube. Um, so my background is accounting or accountant. That's what I was for many years. I still kind of dibble and dabble in that world. Um, I also was a franchise owner for many years, just sold my franchise. I don't know if you've ever heard of Jackson Hewitt uh, tax preparation, but uh -huh. I used to be a, a franchise owner. Now, uh, what I do is, of course, YouTube. You've seen my YouTube. Um, I also have a small accounting practice that um, I support many small business uh, locally. Um, and then also, I have a luxury car uh, rental kind of agency that I host uh, also. Uh -huh. So, that is what I do outside of YouTube. So I have a lot of business experience. Um, and I just feel as if some of the people that come to my YouTube channel want to start their own business. It comes up in the cards. Some people have a hard time uh, either starting or um, maintaining a business. So I feel like this will be a good way uh, for me to help people get to where they want to be in terms of their business uh, goals. So is that something that you're trying to, where are you in terms of business? Yes. And that, all of that was so inspiring because that's exactly where I'm trying to get to. Um, oh, I currently am, have been it. employed. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I want to be able to work for myself. I want to be able to have multiple businesses, small businesses, support small businesses, um, this is actually my second um, go at trying to have my own business. I started a um, administrative and credentialing services um, and notary services business a year ago, but then actually yesterday I decided I was just going to dissolve it and start from scratch if, if I'm led to do that. But it was more, um, I felt like starting that business kind of catapulted me into what do I really want to do? and where my passion lies. And administrative services is not where my passion lies, it's just where my experience is. So I figured, let me start with where, what I love to do, that way it doesn't feel like work. And then now that I know how to start a business, it's now let me try to run a business. <laughs> and um, the candles, like I mentioned in my form, um, started with me just wanting to help my mental health. And now it's such a passion for myself and it's growing. I'm getting so many different downloads as to what I should be doing. And now I'm thinking, okay, um, I want to grow this and expand it into not only um, a candle business and um, kind of a healing place for people um, with not only my products, but hopefully growing and um, developing some inspirational things within my business. But I also want to, um, kind of veer off into having a nonprofit with it so that, you know, people recycling their candle vessels can be donated to our soldiers. You know, these, those little things that will help them in their barracks, their barracks rooms, like after a hard day, they can come in and smell a candle or some fresh scents or, you know, meditate with some chakra stones or something like that. But, you know, um, that's where I'm at with things. Oh, okay. kind of all over the place. So, <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. So, so do, do you have any sales? Have you done sales? Uh, <laughs> well, no. Okay, yes that's fine. And no. Yes that's and no. Okay. I, have, I, I sold a couple of candles last year. However, I've kind of struggled with um, my labeling. Um, I'm, I'm never satisfied with my labeling. So now that, and I didn't really have anywhere to focus my attention to. So um, I got accepted into a pop-up show that's starting in October, which is completely focused my attention on relaunching my shop. 
And so now I am like relabeling everything, rebranding everything, making sure that I have um, a stock of supplies and uh, getting my products uh, photographed as well as um, the details of the products put on the website. Um, so that's where I'm at with everything right now so that I can relaunch my store. Okay, so have you given yourself like hard deadlines? Yes. Okay. Um, what about a to-do list? Yes, I okay. have a to-do list that is right behind me, checking it twice every day. Every day I'm checking something off of that to-do list. My deadline to have everything complete is September 30th. Um, there's a few things that I have, you know, on order, like my labels, they, they should be ordered this week. I should have my placement done by the end of the week. Um, I mean, when I get them by next week, and then um, I've already started my product photos, so, and my description, so that I should be, be able to upload those by the weekend, because I work full time. So my right. business is kind of my part time hobby ish <laughs> thing right now. So how many people will you be in front of in the pop-up show? Right now, we're looking at about 100 to 200 people. Okay. Um, there's 30 vendors. So depending on how many, how much, you know, advertisement we can put out into the community. Okay. And it'll be locally. Okay. So, um, so what are some of the maybe short-term I know this is a short-term goal, but after the pop-up show, how do you keep the momentum going? Like, what are the goals in terms of the the candle shop? What do you have so any short-term goals? My short-term goals is to start generating sales through okay. my ads that um, I'll produce. I I was accepted as a Hulu. Um, I guess, advertiser. So as soon as I can get all of my products up and all of that, I want to be able to advertise through Hulu and, and Google. Um, I want to hire someone for my Instagram page because I'm not very good at posting. Actually, I actually don't have the time to do it. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work yet. But my short-term goal is to start generating more sales um, because I haven't generated any outside of last year since my store is launched. So you probably need to do like some, per, do the numbers on that and projection. I know with Hulu, so that is paid advertisement, correct? You, you don't have to pay for that. Um, I'm not sure yet. Okay. I just signed up for it. I just received the approval yesterday. Right. Yeah. So I think uh, with Hulu, if I'm not mistaken, so yeah, that's paid advertisement. Mm -hmm. How much, so have you come up with, a budget in terms of marketing? Have you really researched your product in regards to what people are looking for when they look for candles? Um, have you really done some market research uh, in terms of e-commerce with candles? Yeah. I know some people like to go into candle shops and, you know, or whatnot, right. but how does that look for you in terms of um, your sales? Have you done any market research or demographic or what is your demographic? Well, we're, my demographic is New Mexico. They, uh, they just the entire people like to shop local here. They like to buy local. Um, so my demographic is women. My demographic is also the younger um, military people because they really love my candles on their faces. Um, as well as, did, did I say women? Yeah, that, women. That's, this is good. This is good. So you're kind of narrowing it down. Mm -hmm. So when you do um, your branding or, or whatnot, or how the candle is made or whatnot, you're going to keep in mind, you know, your demographic women and, and local. So those will be, especially local, those will be, you know, keywords or phrases that you will use that may, you might even include in your website, um, in your Google search. Um, and then also you wanna see what attracts women to buy certain candles. Um, so, so definitely you, you probably wanna kinda, kinda triple down on, on a little bit of research in regards to what would make 
uh, your demographic want to purchase your candle versus, you know, any other candle. Um, also subscriptions, you know, subscription, you know, based marketing is a big deal. Um, people like to nowadays be on subscription. You know, you send me a candle once a month or, or whatnot, or every two weeks. So you might even want to kind of look into that. Um, but definitely you want to do some research on your demographic because you can't sell to everyone. You know, it, it, I can't sell to everyone. Everyone's not going to take to me, but so you really want to key in or hone in on who your candle is for. And then um, if you want to branch into the military, well, what I would do, this is my advice. You don't have to do it, but I would use um, the charitable effort that you're trying to move into. Mm -hmm. I would use that as a selling point mm -hmm. for my candle. When you okay. purchase this candle, we send a smaller version, version of this candle to uh, veterans or to military personnel who is mm -hmm. you know, active duty. So you can kind of tie it in like that. So where, you know, the charity is being fed by way of your sales per se. Awesome, yes. Um, and then that's also, it helps to sell. People love to feel as if they're, you know, doing, you know, a good deed. Um, how are you with getting um, uh, like uh, emails? Um, I'm sorry, like collecting, uh, you know, data from your consumers. And do you have a website? That's a question. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. So when they visit your website, are they automatically prompted to sign up or put their email address in or? Um, it's at the bottom of the website. It's not an okay, auto so, prompt. So you need to make that blaring on your website, you know, hey, okay. so, um, because getting that very valuable data will allow for you to, um, market better. And mm. also it'll, it'll allow for you to do some in-house marketing to where you're not always, you know, I'm um, reaching out or going to someone else's email list or whatnot, you'll have your own over, you know, a, a set amount of time. You'll have people who've already, you know, registered on your uh, website. And also uh, that data is definitely going to be uh, valuable in so many ways in regards to maybe even just getting client feedback, customer feedback. Um, do they like the candle? Um, you could even do polls or, Definitely, of course, send marketing emails. So, okay. So, um, what I what I would uh, from this conversation, what I would recommend is that you at least get about three short term goals outside of the pop up show that you're going to do. The example: one short term goal would be um, in the next. Uh, three and a half months, I want to have had, um, okay, so let me do this. What is your median price of your candle? So if I was the middle point, what? $8. For a can, okay, that's the median. Okay, and what's the most expensive price? 12. Okay. So just off the top of my head, not seeing the candles, not knowing anything about the candles, they need to be more expensive. Okay. Um, I know candles I just buy myself, you know, they're more expensive. Um, they, you probably, so what you want to do is you want to take a whole day, maybe a weekend, because I know you work. Um, mm -hmm. You want to really start to do research in terms of what other people are charging for okay. your same uh, size candle. Um, is it as uh, strong or potent as yours? What are they using? Are they using soy wax or what you really want to do some market research because you might be shooting yourself in the foot 
with such um, lower pricing. Okay. And then what, how it translates to the consumer is, oh, it must not be a really good candle or mm. it's not going to be as strong or the wax it's not sewy or it's not, you know, some people really get into candles. I mean, like they, yes, you know, so um, you want to have a price point where of course it's not, you know, just ridiculously expensive, but you also want the consumer to feel comfortable with it. Like, well, you know, I paid 20 bucks for this or I paid 15 bucks for this or I paid 25. I've even seen candles as expensive as $35, you know, um, so you want the consumer to feel good about their purchase okay. alongside you. I don't know if you will incorporate this, but alongside them saying to themselves, and I bought this candle and a smaller version of this candle will be sent to a true, you know, to, a um, an active duty, uh, military, uh, personnel. So I feel good about this purchase. Okay. So you're going to have to build in that cushion if you choose to, you know, do that. If you choose to say, you know, this is what we do when you purchase our candle. So um, you definitely want to, you're going to have to come up with a marketing strategy and branding. Now, um, this is just a discovery call to figure out where you are. But back to the three short-term goals. Um, mm -hmm. So short-term goal uh number one mine would be if i were you i want to at least um in three and a half months have done fifteen hundred dollars in sales that's on the high end so um that's going to be your goal right one short-term goal so then you have to start to double down on how do i get there um and then you also have to break it down in regards to how many candles do i need to sell um, mm -hmm. It could only be, you know, you could, it's going to be kind of a model. You're, it's, you're not going to get any accurate science from that, but it's going to be kind of a model of how many you need to sell. So that would be one of example, one of my short-term goals that I would write for myself, um, but yours can be anything. Um, where are we in this call? Just want to see something the timing. I was late, so you probably have to cut me a little short. No, that's fine. I think we were only a, a few minutes late. I cannot, I don't see the timing. Um, Let's see. Zoom doesn't yeah. keep time for you? No. <laughs> I don't see it either. Okay. So we'll go about maybe uh, five or 10 more minutes. Um, Thank you. That's fine. Yeah, you're good. Okay, so then we went over our um, at least three short-term goals. Um, I would probably project it out maybe the end of this year, top of next year. So, okay. Um, so, so I, you said um, the three short-term goals should be like my marketing, my it increase my anything. sales. So these, these okay. will be three short-term goals that you come just, up with just for make yourself. Up some. Okay. Um, of course they need to be realistic. You want them to yeah. be realistic, um, but three short-term goals. So you are, the momentum is still going after the pop-up shop because okay. when, when I did, um, because we're going to, incorporate the tarot so when I before um of course uh we got on the call when I did a quick little spread for you it looks like you just need to put more time into this you have not yes. been putting a lot of time into this it says that you know what the cards are trying to tell you or what the universe is trying to tell you is that how can we reward your hard work when you haven't put in any hard work and it's kind of like if you do your part, we'll do ours. If what the universe is kind of trying to say to you, it looks like you're on to something. Um, it looks like you do, you possibly need mentorship, you know, and you need to revise some plans here, or you need to make a plan. You need to have a business plan. The business plan, what it helps you do is to stay focused. I know everybody hates it. I hated it. Uh, 
when I was younger and I first started my first business, I was like, you don't need a business plan. You just need to have an idea and you just need to have, you know, gumption and get out there. But it really keeps you focused, grounded, and you really have a vision for the business. And when you start to veer off the vision, you pick up the business plan and you and you turn those pages and you say, okay, this is what I said I was going to do. Because the business plan not only talks about where you are right then and there when you're writing it, but it talks about where you want to be. So mm-hmm. a year later, if you see yourself veering from that, veering off that, you go back to the business plan and say, this is not where I said I wanted to be. So I need to, you know, redirect, refocus. So the business plan is definitely a really good idea. Um, the, and that was what I was getting for you. You get really good cards if you do the hard work though. And it's going to take hard work. It's going to take time. Yes. You know, everybody mm-hmm. wants to be overnight success. I mean, mm-hmm. hell, I want it. But, <laughs> you know, that's like, a, it's like the lottery. It happens to some of us. It doesn't mm-hmm. happen to all of us. Mm-hmm. So we have to, you know, be, you know, uh, realistic. And which it sounds as if you are. So that's really good. Um, also, um, I think that that was pretty much it was what I was getting when I did your spread off camera. So just um, focus on work. How, and then also, how many hours can you dedicate to this business startup? And you have to understand that if you want to really, really do this, if you want this to be your business to where this is what you wake up and do every day and you don't go to your nine to five, then you're gonna have to treat this as if it is your nine to five. So it's almost as if you'll have two nine to fives um, in the beginning. Now, of course, it won't always be that way, but if it's just, it's something I do on the weekend, it's a positive outlet, it can be that. But you have to decide, you know, now, what are you doing? Is this a hobby or am I really trying to check out of, you know, uh, corporate America. So I think that's a lot of times where people get kind of hung up because it's like, you know, um, you have to really determine where you go on with this. Um, and if once you're honest with yourself, things just go a lot smoother. It's, it's simpler. Um, you aren't lying to yourself and saying, I'm going to make this my business when you really aren't and you you really have your nine to five and you don't have any, you know, um, plans of letting that go. So that would be something that you need to think over also. Um, what, how, what do you want this to be for you? And why do you want to have this, this business here? Um, it looks like definitely um, not only are you going to of course, you're selling a product, people buy from you, but you're also incorporating a service where you are trying to give back, as you mentioned, the, you know, the a military personnel, which is good because you always want to find um, business, if you will, that not only allows us to be creative and allows us to you know, have our own and uh, write our own destiny, but we want to be uh, of service to something or someone. We want it to be more than just a money exchange, you know? So that's yeah. really good that you have that component there because, you know, um, you can feed from that also. And, and I, I think I gave you some ways of how you can incorporate that too. So um, yeah, this is pretty much what I have. Do you have any closing questions for me? No, this has been very helpful. I appreciate your time and all of your insight. You are so welcome. I do want to extend to you, um, and and it's something you could definitely think about. Um, So going forward next month, um, I will be launching um, business coaching. Now, Mm -hmm. business coaching can be, of course, individualized like this, or it can be in a group uh, session where, where you will get the opportunity to meet other business-minded people like yourself, maybe even network, exchange um, ideas or information, Um, but it'll be a conference call each and every uh, month where we go over our to-do list, our um, 
uh, DFY or, or done for you uh, calendars, or if, if you were to purchase a done for you calendar from me. Um, but we also go over business ideas, tips, what you need to do. We also talk about some back end paperwork and this and that. We go, you know, we really get into it. You also will be privy to some of the manifestation videos that I will be creating. Um, so if you want to take advantage of that, especially if you want to further this, if you if you see growth or you want to have growth there, we'll also get into, you know, um, writing your business plan. Um, it's $20 a month. You get on a call, you meet with other people, you get valuable information. If you feel like this is valuable information, um, I feel it's a good way to invest in you, invest in your business. Even if you only did the call for three months, you spent 60 bucks in regards to getting some, I think it's invaluable um, information so that you can move forward. So if you want to take advantage of that, I will send you a link to where you can sign up for that. Okay, thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, that sounds I look great. forward to you being on the call with us next month, if you want to go ahead and do that. So um, this was good. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for taking the time to actually, uh, you know, um, sign up for this and uh, be present for it. I hope that you got something from it. Yes, I did. And I hope thank to hear you. from you uh, in, the, in the call or individual uh, coaching also that'll be available next month too um okay. next month so uh thank uh, you just so a much. quick question yeah, is the individual coaching the same price as the community uh forum or is there a different price no individual coaching is uh a bit more expensive than that okay um and there so how individual coaching is um, structured. There are no one-off sessions because mm -hmm. I can't help your business by talking to you once. Right. Um, so it is uh, at least three sessions. Um, the price and tiers are different, but you mm -hmm. also get the opportunity to make installment payments. So you don't have to pay all of it upfront. Mm -hmm. So, um, that will launch, that'll be out uh, at the end of this week. And anybody who, who wants to take advantage of, the, of that can uh, take advantage of that. But um, okay. the $20 tier is just um, so that you continue. And so everybody can't afford the individual coaching and I get it and it's okay. And I hope that everybody gets to a place where they can, but um, the $20 is just to get your feet wet. You may sit in one of those conference calls and you may say, I need some individual coaching. And then you uh -huh. may change your mind and, you know, sign up for individual coaching. Uh, but that's, you know, this is just to further your plans. If you want to stick with it, if you want to be a business owner, why not Makes talk sense. to somebody who actually has done it, is doing it, you see it. Um, and, uh, you know, why not? And you invested 20 bucks into yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> uh, last question it though you. it does it makes perfect sense and i appreciate your honesty with that um does the link expire because i'll probably it'll be later on in the week when i actually take advantage of the opportunity no it won't expire you'll be able to go to the link click and boom okay cool thank you i All still right. appreciate you you're welcome I, um i hope to uh, talk to you next month and have you in the call uh take care all right Thank you. You hey, too. And, and stay blessed. Oh, Thank you. you too. Thank you. Thank you. Take Bye. Care. Bye. Bye.